Hi Spartans, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> today we are reading from our Journeys readers. I brought one home, I think it's Rosalind's, I'm not sure, um, so that I could read to you from the stories. The stories are real tiny in my teacher's edition. Pete the Cat's here to listen to. Uh, so last time we read A Tree is a Plant, and we're going to do some follow-up informational text to go along with that. And we are reading Grow, Apple, Grow. It is an informational text. Like I said, it gives facts about a topic. It can be a textbook, article, or website. What facts can you learn from this selection about apples? We're also going to be looking at captions. Those are a text feature in uh, informational text. Captions are sentences that tell about more about pictures or photographs. What information can you learn from the captions in this selection? Here we go. Grow, apple, grow. Every apple tree starts with a tiny apple seed. An apple tree grows roots, which take in water and food from the soil. The apple tree also grows leaves, which make food from sunlight. Remember, soil is another word for dirt. And here we have some labels, apple seed. We don't eat the seeds in an apple tree, do we? In the spring, apple trees blossom that, or grow flowers. Aren't the apple blossoms pretty? It's spring right now. It should soon be apple blossom time if you go visit an orchard. The flowers drop off and apples grow in their place. They start off very tiny and they get bigger and bigger and juicier and juicier, yummier and yummier. In the fall, the apples are ready to be picked. That's my favorite time. Apples may be sweet or tart or soft or crisp or crunchy. Hmm, what kind do you like? I like the sweet ones and crunchy. But one thing apples always are is munchy, munchy, munchy. People make many kinds of foods from apples. There's a caption. So our book gave us several choices of follow-up assignments. I picked write a story. Pretend that your class hiked on an apple tree hiked to an apple tree and back. Write a story. Tell what happened in order. So that's what I want you to do is write a story. And I put some of this kind of paper in your packet, right? You can use this kind of paper and if you've already used it up, you can use just a blank piece of paper. And here is what you'll need to write. We walked to an apple tree. First, and a complete sentence of what we did first. Next, and a complete sentence of what we did next. And finally, write a complete sentence of what we did last. First, next, finally. And a beautiful, colorful picture of, our, of your story. Uh, I can't wait to see what you write. I love looking at your writing. And you're becoming very good writers. I'm seeing great writing happening at home. Good job, boys and girls. Bye.